This video will show you how to manually add a 38 inch diameter bolt to the Advanced Steel 2022 database. So what you're seeing right now is the properties of the bolts. So on the definition tab, if I expand the diameter, you won't see a 3 8 inch bolt. So you can see what is available. Now I'll go to the assembly set. You have some options here. You have nut, nut and two washers and nut and washer. Now the type of the bolt is A325. How do we get this into our management tool? The first thing you want to do after opening up the management tools is to go to the preferred sizes, scroll down to the bolt category, select the subheading diameter, and from the available classes, we're going to select the diameter that we want. I've done it before. I'll just remove it. Again, the quarter inch and the three inch, and you're going to look for it among the available classes. So there's the three eighths. I'm just going to select it and add it to the preferred classes. And for the quarter inch, just double click and it will be appended. Always apply. Hit the apply to lock it in. After that, we're going to go to our home tab. Defaults. I've made a profile before by selecting new. Mine is training, but you're going to load settings in advance. So that's to lock in the changes. I'll just close that out, go back to the home tab, select the bolts category. And from there, you're going to see the bolt heading. We're going to expand that arrow just adjacent to the bolt text. From there, we're going to scroll down and find the A325 in the first column. From the parameters tab, you're going to see the default is at a half an inch for the A325 bolt type. The set will show the set as nuts. The bolt tab is where you can really define the bolt. The thickness, the head, number of sides, on the bolts and here you have the length weight and part name and this is what you're going to be filling out to customize your three eight inch bolts. so let's jump back to the parameters tab select the upper left square and expand the flyout to see the existing diameters in the bolt properties deselect it for additional options. So we'll remember that the list wasn't as extensive when we went to the bolt properties in the advanced steel session. So what we want to do right now is we're going to select the first option of the bolt diameter, which is 3 eighths of an inch. Once you select it, well, the source and the rules will be cleared. So the first thing you want to do is we'll select a source. And we're going to put a check in the rule one box so that this is just going to give us access so we can put in the values. So these values you'll get from a catalog. So you could have copied these values into Notepad or Word, and you can copy and paste it in. Again, you can go in and modify. And if you make a mistake, you can always go back and correct it. Not a problem. So once rule one is finished, you're going to move on to rule two. Put a check in the box. Copy and paste and make. Make modifications rather to the values you put in. So after the values have been put in, 
if you hit the apply, you're going to get a notification of invalid set for the 3 8 volt. And the reason you're getting this is because the set of the 3 8 volt have not been defined yet. So just keep that in mind and be aware. So let's do that. So the first thing you want to do is see what kind of set you want from the list. I believe for this exercise, I think we use um, nut and washer. Now you can add the nut or the washer by selecting the plus sign. The default is set at nut, so you can expand the nut, change it out to washer, and from there you can choose your type. Again, the grade and the diameter, which is 3 eighths of an inch. You're going to hit the apply. You're going to go to the lower half. So we've just finished the top group. Now the bottom group defines the nuts and washers between the bolt grip and the bolt head. We're going to go through the same process. So we're going to start with a washer, define our type, grade, and put in the diameter. Take note of the options that you have. The same washer type as the top group will be used. So we're using the same washer, and we're going to hit the apply. Again, select that plus sign. We're going to change. With the type, and again, this is for the nut. And once the values are done, you're going to hit apply and apply again. This assembly set applies to the 3 8 inch diameter bolt. So we have just defined the set. Now we're going to move on to the bolts. So we're going to put in the values for the bolt head. And the number of sides, we'll put six, otherwise it will be round. And from there, we're going to put in the length. And again, we can copy and paste. Remember, if we make mistakes, we can always go back and uh, change it up. You can use a tab key to get into the cell on the right. Let's uppercase that. So hit the Enter key after to get to another row. So I'm just going to jump ahead quick, quick, just to get all of the length, the weight, and the part name done and fix the mistakes I have. You see there should be 3.5 ounces, not 35 ounces, which is quite simple to fix. And then we're going to hit the Apply key. you'll see that the bolt list created by the length rule is automatically created after hitting the apply key. Let's just check the values on the parameter. We're going to hit the apply just for good measure again. Jump back to the home tab. Go to the defaults. Last icon is icon rather load settings in advance. I can minimize the management tools back into advanced steel. We want to update defaults just to lock all the changes we've made in the management tools. Very, very important. 
Now let's take a look at the bulk category. So now we have A325, which is a type. I'm going to zoom in and let's check the diameter. There should be a 3 8 inch. Yes, it exists for the bolt assembly set, nut and washer. And that's how it's done. I hope this helps.